on a day like this, but uh, we feel like we have a lot of reason for optimism and excitement, and uh, I know David and I are anxious to answer any questions you may have, so I think we'll turn it over to you very quickly. Uh, Tom Withers, Associated Press. David, what was your biggest takeaway last year uh, from a coaching standpoint in your first year in the NBA? I think just the realization uh, of uh, how much that personally I had to learn and uh, specific to the team, uh, what it really takes, not only to, to get to the level that we ultimately did, but to take another step. This is for uh, David Black, John Tellich, Fox Age. Sure. David, can you uh, go through us just kind of how your summer was, uh, you know, with, with with the family and the, the long distance situation that you have? And then number two, what is the biggest point of emphasis that you think you will bring or try to emphasize with this team this year? Well, summer, as Griff said, was uh, was short, but honestly, uh, in the grand scheme of things, it's kind of the way that you want it to be. Um, after our uh, experience uh, with with the draft and free agency and, and uh, Vegas Summer League, got to get a chance to go home and spend a little bit more than a month overseas, and, and that was great, grand and glorious, and tried to rest and, and to uh, shut it down for a little while, but naturally did an awful lot of uh, thinking and, and, and planning uh, for the upcoming season. Uh, Going forward, you know, I, I think that, that Griff and, and our uh, management staff has done a great job uh, strengthening our team, bringing in some uh, outstanding new players, and no less important, uh, maintaining the continuity and consistency of our uh, core group. Uh, we have 11 contract players coming back, that's not an easy task, particularly not when you're a very successful team as we were last year. And, uh, Griff and the guys were able to do that. Um, we are a deeper team. We have more possibilities. And uh, the coaching staff and, and myself are very, very excited about being able to uh, start the year uh, with the team that we hopefully will finish with. Chris Hines, Cleveland.com. This question is for General Manager David Griffin. What can you tell us about Tristan Thompson's situation and what's going on right now? Thanks, Chris. I'm glad somebody asked that quickly. Um, so obviously we, we love Tristan Thompson and we want him to be part of our future moving forward. And I think everything in our actions and our offer indicate that. Um, we also believe very strongly that Tristan loves this team and he loves competing with these guys, and we think everything in his actions to this point have demonstrated the same. So we're excited about moving forward with him into the future and whatever form that may take. And again, I, I think we feel very good about where this is because of who Tristan is and because of the competitor he is and the relationship he has with his teammates. This is for David Black, Jeff Zilge, USA Today. Over here, David. Hi, Jeff. Hey, good to see you. Good to see you, too. Um, uh, looking back at last season and what you're able to accomplish with a majority of the roster that's coming back, what are some of the things that you want to see offensively and defensively? And, and I know you had some injuries during the playoffs, but that can get you to a championship and th that you didn't see last year. You know, those are the very things, Jeff, that, uh, that I and, and, and my staff spent a lot of time examining and uh, planning for. You know, it, it would take me a, a good period of time to go over each and everything, but certainly uh, we can improve our efficiency offensively uh, in certain areas of the game. In other areas, we were very efficient last year. Uh, we can continue to maintain the intensity and physicality that we displayed in the second half of the season and all throughout the, the playoffs. Uh, and make that something to lay our hat on uh, as part of our, our identity going forward this season. We can better utilize, I, I believe, what is a, a deeper and, and uh, even more talented roster than we had last year. 
and uh, we can be very, very uh, versatile in the lineups that we can throw out on the floor at any given time to, to gain advantage uh, or to cause problems for our opponents. And those are the things that we plan on doing. Um, sorry, Chris Haynes again, Cleveland.com. I just want to follow up on that Tristan question. Uh, is it the distraction that he's not here? And what's, like, what's the protocol moving forward in the organization? Right no, I, I think in a different franchise with a different set of goals, it might be. Uh, everybody in our locker room knows what our mission is this year. We're, we're here to deliver titles to Northeast Ohio. That's what we're doing. And so there's nothing lost by, by what Tristan is doing right now in this process. It's, it's certainly his right to do this. The system works for a reason, and nobody takes that as a distraction. The level of work we have to do doesn't change one bit, and nobody's level of hunger or desire to achieve it does either. For David Griffin, Jason Lloyd, Akron Beacon Journal. Not, not to belabor the point, but where's your confidence level right now in being able to get something done long term with him with obviously Thursday's deadline looming? You know, I don't know. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't really characterize my confidence level. I'm very confident that we're going to have a terrific team that he's going to be a vital part of and that he wants to be a teammate in the pursuit of the title. And that's really the only thing that I, I would characterize right now.